What's going on, guys? As always, we're going to give a few seconds for uh, let traders work their way in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. While we're waiting, do me a favor, just uh, share this, retweet it, get it out there so we can have some mm -hmm. traders involved for today's video blog. You guys mentioned you like when I do it live. That way you can see the hearts, you can see the um, the comments. Hey, I'm doing good. A little bit, a little bit tired um, for a few reasons. I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit sick, although as I mentioned this morning in the live trading room that I'm not admitting I'm sick, um, but uh, just had a heck of a day. Had a, you know, obviously woke up this morning. We had a, mm -hmm. a very busy live room. We've been running a special lately. We're uh, for this week. Charles Miles is out of town. He's had a, a great summer of trading, and now he's um, taking some time, taking some of those profits, and spending time with the family up in uh, Colorado. So what we did, since there's not going to be any morning warder meeting, is we invited our syndicate members to come join us in the live room. So they have the option, they can join the London live room with Jason Greystone, they can join the New York live room with yours truly, or they can do both. So, you know, we, we had, hey Chip, we had over, uh, I'm very jealous of your son right now. <laughs> I love Colorado. We've had, a, uh, we've had a great turnout in the live room today, so we did that. We did some trading this morning. Then, you know, you guys know I've been very, very active getting into shape. Ran two and a half miles down to uh, the weight room. Pumped some iron. Got the, the guns all swole, right? Then ran two and a half miles back. Um, the run back wasn't too fun. <laughs> For any of you guys that do weightlifting, I did some squats today, so the legs are screaming my mind. But, um, you know, I did it. I was encouraged. I read a, um, it was an article by, I didn't read the whole thing. It's an article by Richard, uh, Richard Branson that I posted to, I um, uh, shared it on Twitter, posted to my uh, Facebook page as well, um, about developing a tough mental mindset. And it's something that, uh, you know, Greystone does a lot of this as well, just, you know, pushing yourself to the limit in every aspect of life and having that convert, um, you know, not only to personal growth, but to business growth as well. Um, so we'll see. I got one more workout plan for later today. We're going to see how the legs are feeling. Uh, but I want to get this in a little bit early. Didn't realize today was a Champions League match day. They are showing uh, Dortmund versus Real Madrid over here in the States. Um, we've got a young local American, Kristen Pulisic, who plays for uh, Dortmund. Um, on the bench, but he's, 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 he may get in for this game. So I'm um, interested this, uh, for seeing him play for a club. I've only seen him play for country up to this point. But today's video blog, I want to talk a little bit about um, kind of just patience mm -hmm. in trading. And again, the idea comes from this, this morning's live room. Uh, we had a lot of new members in both of our live rooms this morning because our syndicate members were invited to come join us. And one of the things that me and Greystone, we, we, we say this to every new live room member is, you know, you're going to feel overwhelmed. You know, we teach a handful of strategies. We use a certain terminology here at Trade Empower. We have a certain process that once you understand that process, it's really, really, really simple. We're, we're pretty consistent. We're very consistent. We're pretty robotic in how we do our analysis on a day in, day out basis. But for someone that is new, right? For someone that, are new, that is new, it can seem very overwhelming. It can seem like trying to, trying to drink a cup of water from an open fire hydrant where you have everything spew in your direction. You got Fibonacci inversions and advanced pattern formations and Garleys and double tops and double bottoms and 2618s and support and resistance. All of it's coming your way at once and you can only catch a little bit of it. Interesting question there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that, I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, Although I'm a Philly native, so you would think I would vote one way or the other, but I'm not, not concerned with that. Um, <laughs> but there's so much information spouted out at once, and one of the problems is that traders, and I, this was a mistake I made when I first started trading, traders try to grab all of it. So, you know, imagine that you've got, imagine it's one of those, you guys ever see that, that, uh, that game show where they put you in this... Um, this like glass room and, and they have money falling out from the sky and your goal is to grab as much as you can um, within a certain period of time. Give me some hearts or give me a yes if you've ever seen that. I don't know what it's called. 
Yeah. So imagine a live room being something like that where you're inside this, this room and you've got terminology and different trading strategies and everything coming down at once. And you're trying to grab all of it at once. You're trying to grab this and grab that. And what happens when you try to grab all of it, right? You usually miss it. You usually maybe get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You get a little bit of everything, but you don't really master any one thing. It's kind of like being a jack of all trades, right? You're, you can be a jack of all trades, but if you're a master of nothing, are you really helping yourself? Not so much. So one of the things that we try to encourage our traders to do is, and this is something that we do during our transformation training course, is we break our training lessons up into modules, right? So each week has a specific lesson and each lesson builds on the next one. So for example, the first lesson in our training is structure, reading a price chart, understanding what structure is, higher high, higher closes, are we bullish, are we bearish? After that, then we can get into stuff like double tops and double bottom. Then we can get into Fibonacci's. Then once you know how to draw a Fibonacci, once you know how to understand how a price chart moves, then you can get into stuff like advanced pattern formations. Because, you know, try, try discovering or try identifying an advanced pattern formation without understanding how to find an impulse leg, right? How do you think that's going to go? If you're a trader that, and you can't define an impulse leg, do you think it's going to be a little bit difficult to find a Gartley or a butterfly or a, a bat formation? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Give me some hearts or give me some yes if you think it's going to be a little bit difficult if you don't even know how to uh, identify the swings mm -hmm. in the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be pretty rough. So the key is to introduce yourself to a general concept and then let everything else slowly build on top of it. Build the foundation mm -hmm. of your house first, then slowly build up. Mm -hmm. So, you know... I was telling my live remembers this, that don't worry about it. It's typically about a one to two week learning curve before it makes uh, a lot more sense. But don't worry about coming in and, and trying to figure out everything at once. The, the, for you guys that are in there, for you guys that are going to be joining me this week, come in there with one single goal in mm -hmm. mind. Take something that you're already familiar with. Take something that you know and only focus on that. So let's say you're a trader that only knows structure. You don't know how to use a Fibonacci tool. You don't know how to identify advanced patterns. You don't know what a double top, double bottom is. All you know is the new structure high, new structure low principles that say you learned in the Into the Gray seminar. When you come to the live room, only focus on the part of the analysis when uh, Jason Grayson and myself walk through reading the price chart and determining what the trend is. Everything else, sit back, watch, take it in, but don't focus on learning that. Focus on your focus, right? Focus on your one goal, master that one goal, and then as you get better, you can slowly add different aspects. I just think that's the best way to grow as a trader. Um, after I took my training course, that's exactly what I did. When I, when I first started my training course, I, I shared this story with our live room members, um, because I, I recently got an email from a former 12-week transformation member that took the course two years ago and said that, hey, I took the course two years ago, I thought I knew what I was doing, and I just completely bombed out. And a lot of traders were in shock. Oh, how can you take the course and bomb out, right? There, there's this, this, this um, I guess, this, this, this idea that, hey, it's just as easy. All I have to do is pay for a trading course, and then success just comes. Right. Let me write a kill a check. Let's write a uh, trade in power to check. Sign up for a trading course and I'll automatically be successful. Right. That's the way it works. Right, guys. Am I wrong? Right. Isn't there some type of we just push a button and say, what's his name, Jeff? All right. Boom. Jeff is now going to be good. No, 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 no. It, it's just the beginning. It takes a massive amount of work. And this trader admitted he said he went through the course. He came out. He got a little bit too aggressive with what he was doing um, and blew some money. Now, the cool thing about this trader is he hasn't, he, he didn't bow out. He's not quitting. He's, he's resetting, refreshing, and going at it again with a different mindset. But it was a similar story, and he got the confidence because I, I shared my story with him. I did the same thing. After I took my training, guys, guess what? I bombed out. I wasn't good, right? I paid for a training course. I took the training course. I came out, and I made every mistake that my mentor told me not to make. Why? Because my focus bombed out, meaning I just, you know, it didn't work. It, it didn't work. It, I, you, know, you blow a lot of money. It, you're, you did not become a success yet, right? And I, I did the same thing. Why? Because my focus was the wrong thing. My focus was I was getting all this information. I was getting all these tools on how to become a successful trader. But the only thing in my mind was Akil. 
how can I, what strategy, what single strategy can I take and use to make as much money as quick as possible? I feel bad admitting it, but that's where I was at. Right? And I ignored a lot of the other aspects of trading that it takes to be successful. And when I went on my own, you know, I had a little bit of success and, and then I, I just, it failed. It failed. I started making psychological mistakes. I started doing, you know, the normal stuff. I started moving stops back. I started taking targets early. I started taking trades early, taking trades late, not taking trades, taking trades I'm not supposed to be in, you know, the normal stuff that all of you guys have done. Um, and it didn't go well for me. And it wasn't until I reset my trading and, and, and really focused on, as I mentioned earlier, building from the ground up, establishing that foundation of reading a price chart. I didn't know how to read a price chart. I was a trend continuation trader, but I couldn't tell you whether the market was trending or not, right? How, how scary is that? Again, embarrassing, but you know, I'm successful now, so I don't mind sharing it with you. But I was a trend continuation trader. If you were to ask me a keel, pound dollar, are we bullish or bearish? Um, yeah, the, the B one, the one that starts with a B, yeah, yeah. Right, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you, so after I reset, I focused on the foundational elements and I slowly built up one step at a time. And it was a slow, grueling process and it didn't make money really quick. It took a, a, a quite a while to see that turnaround. Um, but if you, if you take the time to do it right in the beginning, you don't have to waste time digging yourself out of that hole at the end. So that's kind of the story I want to share with you guys today for today's video blog. Again, I wanted to keep it pretty short. I'll answer a few questions if you have them, but I do want to get to these games, which are going to start in um, probably any any second now. Um, I'm a sports nerd, guys. I'm sorry. I've got to I've got to do some nightly analysis too for our syndicate members. But I did see a few questions come in. If you if you if you got them, type them in really quick, um, and I'll, I'll answer them. If not, I'm sure I'll answer many of them. We spent, <laughs> I don't know about Jason Greystone, let me know. We spent too much time answering questions in the live room today. Mm -hmm. oh, now I'm getting texts. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm a busy person, guys. Sorry about that. I got to respond to that. Um, I'm an Everton supporter, so I'm, I'm pretty mad that we blew that game. Uh, yeah. So busy room today, but you love it. Yeah. You love it. I'm an Everton, yeah, Everton fan. So we we good start, but uh, we uh, we we dropped some points this weekend. Should have at least got one out of that, but it's okay. Um, the syndicate syndicate is a dollar to start. You get thirty days for a dollar, and I'll tell you what: if you sign up right now, you get free mm -hmm. access to two live rooms. So if you're not taking up that mm -hmm. offer, guys, I don't know what's wrong mm -hmm. with you. It's going to cost you a dollar to get in the syndicate. Not only do you get thirty days in the syndicate for a dollar, you get free access to two live rooms, right? Yeah, two live rooms because all of our syndicate members this week have been invited to our live trading room since uh, Charles is out of town um, living the life, living the life while some of us are here grinding and slaving in front of our charts day in and day out. All right. So, yeah, I don't understand anyone that hasn't taken up that deal. I, I just don't understand you. Um, real traders don't sell stuff. I guess I'm not a real trader then because I'm selling stuff. I'm selling education. <laughs> but I guess I'm not a real trader, mm -hmm. so I, I'm just going to liquidate my account right now and retire. <laughs> right? We should listen to everything that people say. <laughs> I love it. Um, after the month, what is the syndicate? Um, 49. 49. If you sign up for a whole year, it's 50% it's off. Yeah. So I think, yeah, syndicate's $49 a month. You get a full year for, I think, like $250 or, or whatever half off would be. Um, real traders have many sources of income. Real, real entrepreneurs have many sources of income. That's the, that's the thing I, I always get, right? You, you get to comment a lot, a lot. Akil, if you're a real trader, why are you doing education? Hmm, to perhaps supplement my income? The same way I have a real estate business, right? The same way I coach track and field, right? Isn't the goal of entrepreneur to diversify your income and have many streams? I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> But you know, maybe maybe it's me. I'm the only one. Uh, but yeah, I, I I believe you guys you guys know my message. Um, this is a for trading education is for profit. Now we do have the right reasons for doing it. We do want to help you. We do want to get you better. 
Um, that's why we give away so much free content for those who can't afford to train with us. But it is a business. It's a way to supplement our income. It's a way to have a different revenue stream from strictly trading. You know, just relying off your trading could be a very stressful um, career. You know, so that's why I always encourage traders. Hey, once you build the skill of trading, use that to grow a business. Now, some mm -hmm. of it could be education. Some of it could be money management. Some of it can be running a signal service. You know, there's so many avenues you can take. Um, but as long as you, as long as you have the skill, you mm -hmm. can grow it to be whatever you want. So, um, you don't want to keep leaking from your trading account. How <laughs> you guys are worried about my fantasy season. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually not doing normal fantasy football this year. Um, I, I won my league so many times that my friends no longer want to play with me. So I'm doing daily fantasy, but my friends no longer want to play fantasy football with me because I've dominated over the last five years and have taken their money. So winners win, right? <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> That's a true story, too. True story. It's great. Um, what is the recommend, re recommended uh, lot size per trade? Um, it depends a lot. Depends on your portfolio size. Depends on your account size. I, I can tell you this: um, you want to your your lot size per trade, your risk per trade. If it bothers you to lose that amount per trade, you're probably trading too big. So if you're trading an amount where you get very excited over a win, or you get very depressed uh, over a loss, it's probably too big of a position size, right? If you're trading the correct position size, you should make a win and should be like, oh, that's it? Okay. And if you take a loss, same thing. Lost 50 pips. Huh. That's it? Nah, it doesn't really affect you. If you're trading an amount where it emotionally affects you, you're probably trading too much. That's a good uh, rule of thumb. All right, pound dollar. Keep going up. Pound dollar is looking good, guys. We've broken out of that little range, at least for the time being. Um, all right, any other questions real quick? Sorry for rushing you guys, but it's my periscope. I can do what I want. <laughs> cool. All right, until next time, plan your trade, trade your, trade your plan. I'll see you, many of you guys in the live trading room tomorrow. If you haven't done so, just make sure you go to Trade Empowered. Uh, Dot com. Of course, check out all the free content we have. Go to our YouTube pages. We have tons of free videos on there as well. So take care, gang. Let's go Dortmund.